Hey Squad, hey! Welcome back to All Things Nail for a little bit of everything all in one place. I am your girl, Nail. With that being said, people notice my IG thumbnail, which is my weight loss journey. And they had questions about how I lost weight. How did I go from 395, which I was originally 400 pounds, but the picture, I was 395 to 259 pounds. So, I am here to talk about it. So, let's discuss my weight loss journey. Before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I am getting ready to restart my weight loss journey. But, but first, I want to talk about all the things that I did to get to where I am now. As you've seen in the picture, honey, honey, baby child, I was a whole train wreck. So... The first thing I did to lose weight, it was my mindset. I decided, like, I have a mirror. I saw my reflection in the window one day, and I was just like, is that what I look like? Like, I'm sitting down, and is that's what people see when they see me? I saw my reflection. I had never seen myself in that light before, and that was a game changer for me. I'm like, oh, my God, I got to do something. And then I got tired of just being tired and not feeling good so i'm like it's it it's done so the first thing i hope y'all have out your notepads number one mindset have it in your mind that you are ready and willing to do what it takes to lose weight if your mindset is already telling you and the first thing coming out of your mouth is what you're not going to do then you're not ready number two I want to discuss the programs that I did in order to lose weight because a lot of people <clears throat> have had questions about, oh, did you do a program? Did you have a gym membership? The number one thing that I did to lose weight that was best for me was swim. I am a swimmer. I was training to be a competitive swimmer. Yes, at any age, you can be a competitive swimmer and they have competitions. And I was in a car wreck in 2016, and that took everything away. I have recently decided that I don't want to just be in pain and be miserable anymore. So if you have any kind of disability like I have, like I have a bunch of discs messed up from the top of my neck down to the, I'm just going to say it, crack of my behind. And if you have other disabilities, I have fibromyalgia, I've had four knee surgeries, two hernia repairs, a whole slew of other surgeries. Um, my arm, this was cut open. Can you see the scar? All this is cut open from the car wreck where they had to go in here and repair my wrist. I've had, I have many disabilities. So if you are disabled and are limited, now is the time to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna restart my weight loss journey and we need to be doing it together. But it took away um, my ability to coach and teach swim. I was a U.S. swim coach, USA swim coach, Red Cross water safety instructor. So I spent all of my time in the pool. I got up early in the morning to swim before, and then I was in the pool all day. So I was burning off everything I ate. Then I, if there was a small section when I took, um, the classes to become a USA swim coach that taught you about carbohydrates, proteins, and then everything started clicking. I have PCOS, so weight loss for me is different than this for other people. So all of that started clicking for me. All the diets I've been on, I have been on literally every fad diet from an egg diet, grapefruit diet, cabbage diet, Atkins, Slim Fast, South Beach, um, did I say Slim Fast, South Beach, um, Sugar Busters, every magazine diet you can think of. I have taken all the Dr. Oz supplements, waste of money, waste of money. And I've tried Fitterman, I've did Saxenda, um, both which work, but it's still a, now the Saxenda work, but it's a lifestyle change and they don't keep refilling it because it's an expensive drug, it's about $2,000 a, a month. And so they don't keep that, giving you a voucher for a refilling if you're not showing progress. And once you stop showing progress, that stops. So 
I'm not on anything. And also, I got tired of the yo-yo effect, meaning when you do any kind of fat, fat diet and you take any kind of supplements, you gain the weight back plus 5 to 10 pounds. I got tired of doing that. Losing 30 pounds, gaining 30 pounds. Losing 30 pounds, gaining 30 pounds. I found... Um, when I couldn't swim, I did Beach Body. Beach Body is a bum.com. Okay, so the, the very first workouts I did in Beach Body was these two by um, Shanti. I did these two, and each one they come with get start quick guys, meal plans, meal guides, and what have you. And those really help a lot. They even come with this. Three day slim down, which I am getting ready to start again, and it come with a party guide to tell you what to eat at parties, and it also come with um your calendar to get started, and it offers you Shakeology. I have to be honest, it is one of the best programs that I have used because on that program I did not gain weight back because I actually did not have to eliminate food groups. Anytime I eliminate food groups, I gain the weight back tenfold, two times what I lost. If I lose 20, I'm gaining back 30 to 40. So I had to get off that merry-go-round because all the yo-yoing, it, it was too much. And then it would, I have depression and anxiety and it was just making me have anxiety attacks and it became too much. So after I started getting results, and this is um, when I couldn't swim, when I... Um, before I even started swimming, I did um, rock and body first. And then one night, I couldn't sleep. I was up. I had had knee surgery. I think at this point, it may have been my second knee surgery. And I was watching TV. And this infomercial came on for hip, hip hop apps. You get this whole set for $20. And I'm like, you cannot get that whole set for $20. I'm finna to order it. So me being me, I ordered it. And it came with a six day slim down, um, as well as um, your um, ab nutrition guide. It comes with this entire disc set. When I tell you the results came so fast, like soon as I got cleared um, from my surgery okay like this is with rock, rock and body i have some rock and body stuff um stuck in here they um never died again like literally i wasn't on a diet it just teaches you how to eat healthy and this is just a book of recipes that i use like i said click the subscribe button because we're about to do this together if you if you hear to lose weight and i'm gonna explain all that in a minute because the best way for me to just to explain to you what I eat is just to show you and carry you through it and we'll share everything together. It's just easier that way because I'm not the best on teaching people. Look, I can teach you how to swim all day long, baby. Baby, I'm the coach. I can teach you how to do whatever in the water. But some of this stuff like, yeah. So, I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that come with um, Hip Hop Abs that took me to another level. This right here, the results on the run. Oh my God, I keep I kept this in my purse. Let me see if I can get the, the camera to focus. This is called the results on the run. Let me tell you, this was, this was my go-to and I'm gonna tell you why. This tells you about all the fast foods you can eat. It has Arby's, Burger King, McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, Subway, Wendy's, um, what you can eat at the grocery store, Italian, Mexican, Japanese, and Chinese, and dining out tips. This was the book to have because it has all these restaurants. And like I said, I love Subway. My Some of my fa favorite places, Pizza Hut, Wendy's, some of my favorite places to eat. McDonald's, not one of my favorite places, but at the time I had kids and it was one of theirs. So, hey, it was everything. Um... This guy stayed in my purse and I guarded it with my freaking life, okay? It was everything. So, I'm going to start using all of these things again to get back into the swing of things. Um, Hip Hop Abs comes with a great nutritional guide. Um, it also introduced Shakeology. Now, you see back in the day, people was like, oh, Shakeology is not good for you. Also, it comes with this. You have to take your measurements 
when you start because you lose inches. And what that means is the scale may not change because with this great getting started guide, um, the scale may not change, but your inches might. So they recommend out of the gate that you um, take your measurements. And then it comes with this a measurement card, women on one side, men on the other side. And what I did was I put this on my printer and then once it was printed, I put the same sheet of paper back in there and put it on the bottom. And then I was just like keeping up with it. I even found my old measurements, girl. I found my old measurements. Like, okay, the first time I started this was 12, 7, 13. And, ooh, child, I don't even want to tell y'all how big mama waist was. Ooh, ooh, child, it was too big. But... I mean, just looking at my journey make me almost want to cry because this is just crazy. This is wild. Oh, my God. Oh, right here is when I got down 12, 28. Oh, my God. When I got down to 300 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Oh, when I got to 295, I cannot tell y'all how good I felt. It says 5, 1, 2015 is when I hit 295. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. And so I plateaued a lot because right here, 624.14, it took me a whole year to get out of the plateau because I was at 299.4 and it wasn't until the next year I got out of the plateau. So, I mean, I did this naturally and I stayed at that plateau for a while because 2015, I'm still pushing 301.4. Um, that's 824 2015. Then I got 01 31 2016. I'm still pushing 301. So 2016, um, I was still at a plateau. And um, I started doing um, Ty McQueen. And it, it moved me some. And then I went from there to Michael Morelli. And that got me on down out of my plateau to the 259. So the thing is with Michael Morelli, his program has changed. And because of the changes, um, for me, it's not as user, user friendly anymore. And so I had to find something else. So I went back to the basics. Once I found, I was cleaning up just a few weeks ago because I've been remodeling my house. And once I found the basics of what I did to lose weight, which was Beach Body, I have went back to Beach Body. I am going to do something new this time, and I have an unboxing for you all. And I will make sure that I link that unboxing um, somewhere at the top of this video, and also leave a link for that unboxing in the description so you can watch my Beach Body unboxings. I am going to try something new with Beachbody. Beachbody has evolved so much since I was on it the first time. Now they have this, this new program called Bear. I haven't even opened this out of the plastic yet. And it also comes with daily motivational cards. These haven't been opened out of the plastic. Guess what? I'm going to open them with you all. And each day we're going to take a day, daily moto, mo, motivational card and we're going to get motivated now i'm not going to tell you everything is going to be perfect to sit here and say it won't be bad days and good days we won't fall off the wagon will be a lie i'm not going to sit here and lie to you because i i feel like that was a problem with my weight loss journey is being lied to like and not being understood the first issue was people that's already skinny wanted me to hop around like a wet fish on dry land dry land baby no number one my knees bad. I just got through with another surgery. I can't be out here running around, hopping around like a wet fish on dry land. Baby, no. Uh, and then I have large breasts and they bump, bumping me in the face. So I'm not going to be running and jumping and all of this kind of stuff with all these knee surgeries and hernia surgeries I'd have. Oh, baby, no. Let me get on down there where you at. Then we can do some of the crazy stuff, okay? So... I had to figure out what to do for my size that I was comfortable with, that I was going to stay consistent with. The next thing I had to do is key in on my diet. I tried keto. Keto is not for me because I have migraines and it intensified my migraines so bad that it was just horrible. It was not worth the pain 
no other time, dog. No other time, okay? So, I once I I the doctor that I had went to for the Fenerman and the Saxenda, I sit down and talked to him. I said, look, he because he was like, if you would come more than once a year, because I was only going once a year. I wasn't taking the pills like yearly, like recommended. Literally, I'm going once a year. And he was basically like, if you would come every month, he said six months consecutively, if you can lose this weight and already have this weight off and have a better and healthier life, my problem is I don't I didn't want to be dependent on the weight loss pills because I done it tried go to go one time um to another clinic, not his clinic, a different clinic, three months consecutively, and every bit of the weight I lost, which is about forty five pounds, came back. I gained like fifty five to sixty pounds back. No. So I was done with that. I didn't want to keep yo yoing. So I would use that as a way to get me out of a plateau. But then I still ended up plateauing again once the pills ran out. And then I would um, end up gaining all the weight back. So I told him, I, I need you to tell me what I can do to lose weight without these pills. I said, and, and, and so by this time, I have done so much research and learned so much stuff about my body. Because I have PCOS. So losing weight, PCOS is totally different that I just asked him point blank. I need you to tell me how much protein, how many carbs, um, and the amount of vegetables that I need to eat, point blank, period. So he told me for my weight, the amount of carbs and vegetables I need to eat, and I think the carbs was 150. I adjusted it to 200 um, carbs because he told me to just pay attention to the amount of carbs that I was eating because I was probably eating a lot. In my mind, I'm thinking, I'm not eating that many carbs because I eat low-fat this. I eat sugar-free this. Keep in mind, me eating sugar-free, I have migraines, and the medicine that I have to take for it depletes the, the migraine medication. So I was really causing myself more harm than good. But And I'm thinking, I don't eat that many carbs. So then I started sitting down and I'm like, oh my God, like literally daily I'm consuming. I thought I was eating healthy. I thought I was eating low carb and low fat. Oh no, baby. I was consuming roughly 500 to 600 carbs a day eating low fat, um, fat free, healthy, all these uh, weight loss frozen meals. I was just floored, like floored. Like everything just boom. I was like, wait a minute. I mean, I just started crying and just like had just a breakdown and God God bless my husband because he is the sweetest and he would just hug and kiss me and hold me and tell me it's gonna be okay. We would figure it out. Um he would help me, just tell me what he needed to do. I mean, and so I just told him, I don't know. I, I just need to learn what to do. But I took the doctor's advice. I sat down and took what he gave me. The first thing I had to do was put it in my fitness pal. I put it in my fitness pal and started trying to figure out. Because at this point, this is not happening overnight. This is happening over a six-month period. So at this point, I'm back up to 300 and about 40 pounds. 300, between 330, 340 pounds. And this was... Um, late 2015. What was the date on that? Anyway, the beginning of 2016. And I'm like, I can't keep doing this. I'm back up again. And I'm just like so tired. And so I figured it out. I started making meal plans for myself based off of what my set carbohydrates. So I would make a meal plan based off 150 to 200 carbs a day. Um, I, it's the percentage. I don't know. I don't have the percentage. So y'all gonna have to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna find it. And this is what we finna start doing it because it's in a weight loss journal somewhere around here, and I will have to dig it up. But we, I just started doing the percentage. And then I, I still was losing weight kind of slow. And this is when I started researching PCOS. And on my own, by myself, without the help, help of any doctor, I started making my own meal plan for somebody with PCOS. And then, because um, I had used some of Tyler McQueen's plans, but it 
they 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 worked but i still wasn't getting the results with all the workout i was doing i wasn't getting the results i was getting i even had one of my doctors tell me as active as i am and the way i eat she said there's no reason i shouldn't be at least 180 pounds and she's she was like but it's because of that p that pcos she said, your body is just not willing to let it go. Another doctor in the same clinic recommended that I have stomach surgery. And I'm like, I don't want stomach surgery. And then, um, but if I have to, so my family was against it, but I still went to three, three other doctors for um, consultations. And out of the four doctors I talked to, only one recommended surgery. The other three was like, no, because you're going to have to have so much loose skin removed and you said you don't want that. And another thing that I said, I don't want to have to keep going to the doctor for health issues. They said, well, then stomach surgery is not for you because once you have it, you have to keep going to the doctor at least every three to six months. And then and then they said, and if your goal is to reduce the amount of pills that you're taking, stomach surgery is not the option for you because you'll be forever having to take a multivitamin and other supplements that your body will no longer absorb through food. I was like, okay, so that's out. Okay, so this is when I, I just started keying in on my nutrition. So let me tell you something. Weight loss is literally 90%. Because some people say 60, some people say 70. Weight loss, I'm telling you, is 90% what you eat. Because when I change how and what I eat, baby, baby, oh my God. It's like I started losing weight overnight. I lost so much weight so fast that people thought I had weight loss surgery. No. Your girl was just eating right and getting that workout in. Literally, long as I worked 30 minutes. So this is what the weight loss doctor told me in Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Work out. Do your workout 30 minutes. No less than every other day. If you skip two days, you're going to gain weight back. So that's what I stuck to. I remember that he told me that. So I made sure I worked out every day or every other day. Then um, he said the cheat meal thing. And you really, really there's no such thing. You, if he really didn't tell me this, I had to figure this out on my own. Because I was determined that I wanted to have a cheat meal. And we'll explain that later. But. The things that I ate for breakfast, I would have two pieces of bacon, some eggs, or I would have, um, sometimes I don't like breakfast food. I would have some peanut butter, um, some carrots, or some sliced apple. My favorite thing to eat for breakfast is an omelet. So in the morning, I, I could find those little packs of chopped ham meat. I would have a ham omelet with some cheese in it with um, the peppers and onions. Oh, that's my favorite breakfast. I would have that for breakfast. Then for lunch, I would have like um, a turkey wrap. Like in a regular tortilla shell, the turkey wrap where I would take um, a turkey patty, some spinach leaves, some banana peppers, some guacamole, roll it up and eat it. Now I made this meal up completely by myself just because I had counted out how many carbs I needed per day so if I need 150 carbs a day and I want to eat five meals a day I took five and divided it by 150 well really I, I did more than 150 carbs because baby I was a big girl I had to eat and I don't do withdrawal syndromes I don't do headaches because all that do is make me binge eat so I was pushing at least 200 carbs so I would say I was dividing by 200 to 175 carbs it was depending on what the skill had moved for that that week and i would divide it by five times because i'm eating five times a day and i would sit down with my meal prep containers and i would break it down i also um remember to leave a link somewhere to show y'all um, um my meal prep containers and what i use and I would just have my meals divided up. And then I went to Walmart and bought this cooler. Now, a lot of people was buying this big fancy cooler from GNC that, you know, you put your full meals into this big cooler. It was like $130. I am on a budget. I couldn't afford that. I went over to the Walmart and bought a $15 big lunch bag 
that I put all my food in for the day. I don't care if I was going to my parents' house. I don't care where I was going. I put those cool packets in there and the food that I was going to eat because in order for me to be successful at this, this is what I had to do. And I did it. And it worked. Okay, because some of y'all, some of y'all already like, ooh, no, that's too much. Do what you gotta do. I'm just being honest with you. I told y'all I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is raw, no Vaseline. So then for dinner, I would have stuff like um, my husband would barbecue and grill some baby back ribs, um, some pork chops. He would do me some boneless chicken, but if he did boneless chicken, I had to have a little piece of pork chop. Since they removed my gallbladder, I can't eat a lot of pork. It makes me really sick. It makes me feel like I got the stomach virus, but I get me a little taste in there, baby. So to the side, he would leave me this little space. I will put a pan out there. I will put in that pan, I will put me some cabbage, put me some onion in it, have me some cabbage on the grill, some foil. I had a pan. I would um, just saute my vegetables in. Like I'll put a little olive oil in that pan and I would cut up like a whole bunch of green, red, yellow peppers and like three or four onions in there. And that would be my meal prep. And then I'll put that in a bowl to always have as my side to whatever I was eating for the, for the week. So whether it was um, a steak, I had those peppers already prepared. Um, I did um, brown rice, oh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes for days. Um, I had kind of got the sweet, sweet potato thing from um, Michael Morelli. And so I was just on sweet potatoes. I love sweet, I didn't really like sweet potatoes for a while, but then after he started talking about how to season them, so I learned how to season them that way and I just started eating sweet potatoes. So I would have sweet potatoes a lot like sweet potato a steak like a when i say a steak i'm talking about okay so this is a magazine when i say a steak i'm talking about a steak like this big i'm not talking about no little penny any hand size steak i ate i eat food honey i don't do missing meals and going hungry and having hungry headaches i ate the more i ate the more weight i lost i had never in my life experience anything like this so then i started school for nutrition yes i started college back for nutrition i've just been taking classes here and there over the last year or two um i started classes in um 2019 and i've just been taking them randomly because again i'm on a budget i also work every day i'm a grandmother parent of three and there's no way that like i can you know, I don't want to just keep overwhelming myself. Like, it's just a lot. So I didn't want to keep overwhelming myself um, with classes. So I was taking one class at a time. I'm currently still in school, but follow me along with this journey because I will soon be certified with um, my nutrition. I am going to take a break because, like I said, it's just a lot of going on with the world, with the... Oh, the whole shut-in situation and everything. Um, I will say where I am now, I have gained back weight. I am back up to 325, between 325 and 330. I will show it to you on a piece of paper. We are going to restart this weight loss journey. I'll do another video where we're going to write down my weight and my measurements. And we're going to, I'm going to start um, showing y'all what I eat and what I do as far as, and also workout related. I also started a garden. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I started the garden. I've already pre-recorded videos of the garden and that situation. Right now, it's a struggle garden because I haven't been at the attend to it. So actually today, I also need to vlog another video where I go out there to the struggle garden <laughs> and and harvest the vegetables that are ready and I need to um, take some shears out there and clip a back some dead leaves we need to water it so yeah and because I wanted to do I like to do more I'm a country girl I am a Mississippi country girl and I'm used to everything being farm race and everything I'm sorry if y'all hear my dog barking but um it's a, the other people normally when he barked the neighbors barking the dog anyway 
But yeah, I grow my own vegetables in the summer, especially in this year for the first time. I'm going to try to do winter, veg winter veggies. So please stick around. And I hope this helps somebody. I, like I said, I normally, um, when I started this channel, it was about weight loss. And then I got really depressed because I had the wreck. And I was limited about what I could do. And then I started doing move buns. When I started doing move buns, I think, really, to be honest, that's what pushed me back up to the 30 line. So, other things that I ate uh, for dessert, I had dark chocolate. I tried to um, get um, the vegan... I don't know if you call it vegan dark chocolate, but the good kind from the hair store that's like better than going to Walmart and just bag, buying a bag of Hershey's. You try to have to try to find the ones that say vegan or um, grass fed dark chocolate, something like that. I can't remember the exact, but you want the best grade chocolate drop. Like I'm talking about like the chocolate drops you put in chocolate chip cookies. Yes, those. Those are what you want. I ate those when I wanted something sweet. I ate the little bitty cups of sugar-free ice cream when I wanted something sweet. I ate Happy Cow when I wanted something sweet. I really liked ice cream, so I did a lot of ice cream. I stopped all low-fat stuff. If I was going to eat it, I might as well eat the regular kind. It was more nutritional and less. it's better to eat regular sugar than to just keep consuming fructose, glucose, monosucralose, some toast, some toast, just eat regular sugar. You come out better. And so I would have um, a little yogurt here and there, but not frequently. In all honesty, the more I ate healthy, the better it got. As far as fruits concerned, I only eat berries. Sometimes, occasionally, I have pineapple. Um, I do oranges, halos, tangerines, grapefruit, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, mandar uh, mandarins, what you call them? Mangoes. Mangoes. And that's about it. That's about the fruit that I eat. For my vegetables, I eat any kind of leaf. No, I don't eat any kind. Of I eat the spring mixed leafy greens. I prefer to grow my own that's why I said click, click your subscribe button. We gonna, we doing some gardening this year. This is the first time in three years I've gardened. So you want to be here for this whole mess because we don't know how it's going to go, okay? So um, tomatoes, cucumbers, broccoli, um, banana peppers, bell peppers, jalapenos, sweet peppers, squash, zucchini, um onion that's a like cucumbers those are the prime vegetables those are the main vegetables that I eat um, sweet potatoes I don't go too far outside of the realm of that um, for my meat I ate um, chicken seafood beef turkey deer I'm not gonna lie when I first lost weight, my main source of meat was venison because I was on this whole food grass-fed kick. I ate mostly deer meat. I'm just going to say, I, people say venison, I'm going to say deer meat. Um, my husband knew, knows how to treat the deer meat where it doesn't have a wild taste. He knows how to soak it, tenderize it, and it's just like eating ground beef. So the first year, all of 2016, I ate deer meat literally was my only meal i ate deer sausages deer burgers deer um it was made into stew meat have uh deer ribs if i wanted ribs on the grill it was deer every my husband did everything possible to help me on this journey and he would hunt and i ate fresh food i ate grass fed um we went fishing um I don't eat any catfish. The catfish that I eat has to come from a paid pun because from a paid pun, it's not eating the stuff on the bottom. They're being fed. Um, and I would ask, like, what are you feeding them? And then so I would get Mississippi form raised catfish because I don't eat bottom fed fish like tilapia. I, I stopped eating tilapia because I don't eat bottom fed fish. I eat what I, what I eat 
fish from places I know it come from. So I, here in Mississippi, it's a lot of farming going on and a lot of people that we know that sell farm raised catfish. And I know I can go get catfish that then eat off of, you know, trash off the bottom of a pond that they're being fed and I can get fresh catfish, healthy catfish. Um, I did eat salmon. Mahi Mahi is my favorite fish. I love like Mahi Mahi. Oh my God. My friend Joanna got me addicted to Mahi Mahi. The best ever. Um, as far as how to cook this stuff, the best thing to do is to kind of follow along because I'm going to start sharing what my day to day, day to life. So in other words, I'm going to start vlogging that. And I, the reason I'm going to start vlogging because I need people that have went through what I have went through with my weight loss journey, um, low self-esteem, low self-confidence to see that everything in life is not perfect. It's so many channels out here you can watch on YouTube and Facebook where you think, oh, their house is perfect. Um, what they eat is perfect and it makes you form this opinion like if I had money I could eat like this or I could do this exercise or I could work out like this if my house looked like that if uh, I live like that and I want people to see that I live in a regular smuggler small country home aka we call it the cottage um, we live an everyday small life on a very tight budget we don't have money to throw around we live in, you know, we we have to work and get paid like everybody else. So, you know, the house may be dirty one day. Like, this side of this room is dirty. I'm not going to show it to you because <laughs> I have, like, a sewing machine right there and some material and, like, uh, a fax machine. But I don't want y'all to feel like, you know, when I start vlogging, of course, y'all going to see it. But I want people to see something that's real. I cannot tell you how many videos I have tried to watch for motivational and it's just so made for the camera. I don't want to be made for the camera for y'all. I want to be real and I want y'all to feel at home here. So I hope y'all do. Leave it in the comments below if you feel that way because like I said, I don't want it to be so just fake. Let me go and tell y'all now, I don't dress up. You may see me wear the same outfit every day. Come on, this is real life. Who don't wear the same outfit every day and smell it? Be like, this clean. I only had it on for a couple of hours. This is, I, I want to show y'all real life stuff. Like I said, I, it's so many videos of people living the perfect life. Life is not perfect. Definitely not mine. And I want to see people like some days it's going to be good days. Some days it's going to be bad days. I may be crying some days. I have severe anxiety and se severe depression. And all of this plays a role in my weight loss. And we're going to discuss this in other videos. But this video has become long enough. So I hope Y'all wrote down the things that I eat, the programs that I have, the things that have worked, the things that didn't work. We are, I am going to do another video on more stuff because I got so much to talk about on weight loss. I'm just going to break it up in different videos. So stay tuned. And we, let's check out some of my unboxings on the products from Beachbody. My meal, what else, what else we're going to check out? We're going to check out my meal prep containers. And we are going to look at, it was something else I wanted to show y'all. And we're going to unbox this stuff right here. And then we are going to take my measurements, my weight, and then we're going to get started. So, oh, and we're going to look at the garden. We're going to go out and do some gardening because this is another good way to lose weight is to, to grow your own vegetables. And I'm going to show y'all how to do that. Even though I live in the country, I have trouble with wildlife so i'm gonna show y'all how to grow your very own garden even on your bath if you live in an apartment or and don't have enough space that we're gonna do this together so come on and let's check out all this